In today's video, I'll show you everything you need to know about using InstaDoodle, covering the exclusive offers, features, settings, and how to export your work for sharing. By the end, you'll be able to use InstaDoodle effectively. So now, let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I want you to do is to use the links in the description so that you can go here into InstaDoodle website and get exclusive offers. So in here, you'd be able to see that InstaDoodle is the new AI Doodle Creator software where it enables you to create videos like this easily. So if you're watching informative content on YouTube, you might have already come across this animation style in which they create content using this type of animation. So yeah, this is most effective with informative content as what I have observed with YouTube. And you can also see this in other social media platforms. And now we can scroll down and then from here, we'd be able to see that we have the get inside Doodle right now. So we'll be proceeding with the pricing. When you click on that, you will be navigated here. So from here, you'd be able to see the plans of InstaDoodle. We have the standard InstaDoodle plan, which is $47 per month. And the pro one is $67. And the agency would be $127 per month. But don't worry, there are even better offers than this. So if you use the link in the description, the first one, you would be able to go into this website here of InstaDoodle, where you would be able to get their exclusive offer for a lifetime offer wherein you would have to add this amount which is 37 dollars this is only a one-time payment and then you would get InstaDoodle for life so you can grab access to InstaDoodle today and not just that you could also get the pro version with an additional 3000 plus doodle elements eight drawing hands and 2k or 4k rendering for export with commercial rights and more so when you scroll down in here, you'd be able to see what you're getting with the pro version compared to the standard one. So you can see that right here. And then from here, you can now click here on yes, upgrade my license to pro. And then you'd be prompted here into the lifetime offer, wherein you only have to pay this much amount. It is like you just doubled the monthly payment price and then you'd get the lifetime offer. This is a very sweet deal, right? You'd be getting so much more for life. So if you're just starting out your journey in creating content using InstaDoodle, this is the best offer that you should get in order for you to start creating now. Also, if you would like to get your process much easier and so much simpler, then you should definitely get this offer right here. So this is also one of the links in the description. So you want to make sure that you check it out. And this offer basically is all about the AI wizard upsell. It is all about uh, generating the entire doodle video with the help of AI. As you can see, we have the one click script creator right here. So it creates from script to voiceover to video, literally everything in the content. So all you have to do is provide a prompt on what you would like to create and InstaDoodle will now create it using the Doodle style animation. And from there, you can now just edit the content on however you'd want it. And not just that, you also get professional AI voiceovers to bring life into your content and multilingual videos to bring in more audience. And now when you click here on yes, upgrade my order, you will be navigated here wherein you just have to pay $67 one-time payment for the lifetime offer. And then you would get all of these benefits of their AI technology. So this works best along with your pro lifetime version so that you would get all the features here in InstaDoodle and get ahead of your competition. So make sure to use the links in the description to get this exclusive offer. So now let's use InstaDoodle. Let's go into the main thing itself. So I am now here in InstaDoodle and I am currently with my InstaDoodle plan. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to discuss this dashboard first so that you would know what's going on here. So first thing is here under projects is where you'd be able to see all of your recent projects. So if you would want to go back into the project and work on it again, this is where you can see it. And then here at the bottom is where you can see their tutorials that is created by InstaDoodle itself. So if you're having troubles with some specific areas here in InstaDoodle, you can find it right here. All right, so now the next thing is that we're going to create our work now. So we're going to click here on the plus button. And from here, we can go with manual mode or AI wizard. With AI wizard, this is actually another paid 
um, subscription right here. So you don't have this for free and you can buy this today at only $67 with only one time payment. So this is really helpful because you can use their AI to generate your script. You can even have AI voiceover. So in this way, you would really be able to focus more on the message of your video rather than on the editing process. So with this, you can just type out your prompt on what you would want the AI to do, like generate the script or create the whole video itself. And then from there, you can just make some minor changes on what you think would be better. But in this one, we'll just go with the manual mode since we don't have this one. I'm going to click here on next. And now from here, we cannot choose the template of our uh, work. So you could go for the empty project if you'd want to, but you could also start with a template to make it easier. So for this tutorial, we'll just be going with this template and click on next. All right, so now here we are. So another beauty of InstaDoodle is that you don't actually have to download or install any other apps or the app of InstaDoodle in order for you to create your content. You can just do it directly on the browser. And in here, we can navigate through these slides here at the bottom where you can see the slide one, two, three, four, five, and so on. And then we can see the time of the video right here at the top of it. So it is around two minutes and 20 seconds. Now let's go back here into slide one. And from here in each slide, you can select the elements here on the uh, workspace. So you can uh, select each element right here. You can edit all of them. You would have the options here on the right side. So in here, we can go for this element, for example, and then these are our options in editing this. So you can go for the line weight, which will make it thinner or thicker depending on your settings, just like that, as you may have noticed. And then you can change the color of this doodle or line right here. You can make it red, black, white, or whatever you'd want. So I'm just going to stay with black. And then you could even go for the animation. So this is where you can see the famous draw animation right here. And then you can go for the animation speed. So how long do you want it to be animated? So you can go for three seconds, one second, or whatever you want. And then the end delay, you can do it right here. And then you could also use the slider to increase the duration of the animation. Right there, so I'm just going to go with three right here, or I could just type it out. Next is that we have the end delay. So you can set how many seconds to wait until the next element starts drawing. So I'm just going to set this at one. And then next is this one right here. We have the slide. So this is the setting for the whole slide itself. So you can go for the transition type right here. You can go for fade, you can go for wipe, which requires the pro version, or you could go for the iris and so on. So depending on what you want. And then next is uh, we have the timing. So we have the drawing speed. So how fast do you want it to be? You can go for uh, two times, three times, four times, five times, and so on, depending on the setting that you would want to select here. And then you have the slide duration right here. So it would actually depend on the total duration of the settings that you have set in here. So it might vary. So for example, I'm going to select a different speed. As you can see, the slide duration has now changed. So now I'm going to slide it back right there. Next is that we have the voiceover. So in here, since we only have the basic InstaDoodle plan, so we only have the option to upload a voiceover. But if you have the other plan right here, then you would have the option here to select their pre-made voiceovers that is available here in InstaDoodle. So now the next thing is that once you are done um, setting your options here. The next thing is that you can preview this slide. You can click here on the play button and see how it would play out. So that's it. So now I don't really like how slow this was animated and I also want this to be drawn. So what we can do about that is that we can click here on this element and then we can make it faster. So I'm going to go for 0.5 since this is just a really small element. And for this one, I am also going to go for the animation type, which is draw. And then for the animation speed, I am just going to go for two right there so that it won't take too long. And then next is that you can also change the hand. So you can do that by clicking here on project and clicking on hands. So you can choose the hand that will be used as the one that is drawing the doodles. 
For example, I'm going to go with uh, something like a Santa hand, maybe something like that. And then once I've chosen that, we can apply it and see the changes. All right, so that's it. And by the way, you can also change the text in here. So if you'd want to, you can also do that. Let's just go for Kyle. Shooters, maybe something like that. And it will now be animated this way. And then you can also reposition that by just simply dragging the text. And yeah, you can basically do the same thing for the other element. It would just depend on what kind of element you're editing. So you would have different options here in the settings. You can even go for the fonts. You can go for the font style, font size, letter spacing, and so on. You could just explore the settings in here on what you can do about it. And now next is that we are going to go in here. So here in the doodles, we can actually change this if you don't really like it. So we can just select this and click on delete. And from here, we can explore the library of InstaDoodle, where we would have a bunch of doodles right here in our disposal. For example, I'm going to go here. I'm going to click here. And then I can use this doodle as my model right there. I can make it like this right here. And I'm just going to expand this and I'm going to place it just like this one right here. Or maybe this one like that. And by the way, notice how you can see that this doodle is above this doodle right here. You can change that by going into the layers right here, and then you can navigate to that doodle right here. You want to make sure that it is selected when you're clicking here, and then you can put it above this, this layer right here so that you'd be able to see that it is now on top of this. So this is where you can rearrange your layers. All right, so now that we know that, let's go and position this now right there. So let's say like that. And now we can also animate this with the drawing style right here. And then we can make it the color blue, just like in the previous model that we had. So I'm just going to go and pick it right here. So it is somewhere this color, right? Right there. And yeah, that's how we do it. And basically, if you don't want to choose a doodle right here, or you can find a doodle that fits exactly what you want, then you can click here on Generate with AI. And from here, you can just type out whatever doodle you would need for your video. For example, I would want a fit muscular man holding dumbbells or weights, maybe something like that. And then from here, you can go for the element or background. But in terms of background, it is only available with a pro subscription. And here, we can choose the style of the doodle. We can go with caricature or realistic or mixed of these uh, two styles. In this case, I'm just going to go with mix and click on generate. And here we have our results. So let's say I would want this one. I think this one looks good. I'm going to click here on add. Or you could edit it first before you would add it in to your work right here where you can free draw, line draw, or you could fill it with colors. You could go for transparency, fill, or you could go erase something that you have done. So yeah, this is how you can do it. In my case, I will not be editing that. I think it really looks good. So I'm going to click here on add and just wait for it to be added. And here it is. So now it's here. We can delete this and then we can replace it with this one right here. So there it is. So once you click on that, it will now be imported into the workspace. And from here, we can just arrange that right here. And I'm just going to put it right here. And we can rotate our elements, all of the elements in here, including this one and the text, by doing it like this. You want to position your cursor here. And then now you can rotate it. So this is how you do it. And then let's make it smaller, just like that. And position this right here. I think I'm satisfied with that. And yeah, that's it with generating your own doodle in here or picking from the library of InstaDoodle. And then you could also go for props where you can see chat bubbles and other objects right here that you can include in your video, or you can simply generate it with AI if needed. So for this one, we're just going to go with this simple speech bubble and click on it and it will now be imported. And now we can position it to our model, just like that, maybe something like this. And then we can put the text in here. So by clicking here on text, and then you can choose the font of your text that you'd want. In my case, I'll just go for this one. And then I can now place it inside the text bubble. And I'm just going to go and customize the text. So I'm just going to go for hi. Or I can go for welcome, just like that. And then position it right here and expand it as needed. 
And there it is. So now we're finished with this one. And basically you can do the same thing with the other slides. It would depend on your style. The important thing here is, you know, know how you can use the settings and options and features here in InstaDoodle, and then you can just apply it on your own work. And the last thing we'll be talking about is you're going to go here in a project, and this is where you can upload a soundtrack or music into your videos. So you can click here on Upload Soundtrack, or you can select from the library of InstaDoodle, but again, it requires you to get this subscription so you would be able to have six human-like voices for the voiceover and predefined background music tracks and so on. So yeah, and now once you are done with your work, the next thing that you're going to do is that you want to name your work first. So basically, I'm just going to go for a sample tutorial, maybe something like this. And next is that you have the tutorials button right here, wherein you could view their tutorials if there are any parts or features in InstaDoodle that you don't really understand or you need help understanding. So you can do it right here. And then once you're done, you can click here on Save to save your work. Or you could now export your work right here by clicking here. And then from here, you can now download this as 1080p depending on your subscription. So of course, if you have the pro or the agency, you'd be able to upload or download this as 2K or 4K resolution. So what you want to do from here is that you want to click here on render. And then as you can see, render is in progress. So it has not started and it may take some time to complete. So just feel free to close this window and just wait for it. As you can see, it is loading. And now that it's done, we now have the play and download button available. We can click on play to preview it, or we could just click here on the download button right here. So we're going to go back into export and click here on download so that we can now upload it into whatever social media platform or where you would want to upload your work. So that's it for this video. So if this video helped you out, kindly leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below on what you think about this. And also don't forget to use the links in the description so that you would get exclusive offers here in InstaDoodle. And that is basically it for this video. Thank you for watching.